Hello, hello, we're back. And uh, I guess we're ready to start and go to the second ending. Let's just see how this goes. This time I'm going to try and save <clears throat> uh, certain dialogues so we don't have to take too long trying to figure anything out. Well, maybe I will. We'll see. Let's just start this. Ugh. Ew, this rope is filthy. What are you doing with the climbing rope? Nothing, just moving it unrelated do you know how to tie a noose Wait, what the heck why would i know how this to is that? different you were in the girl scouts yeah we learned how to tie knots to go on boats and shit not hang ourselves well we're just assuming a whole lot today aren't we hey guys what's going on why is the rope in here she was just asking me how to tie a noose and like what? did you help her should i nicole are you really trying to kill yourself again yeah no uh, pick your favorite answer out of those. Why would you help her tie a noose? I didn't! Oh my god, I can't right now. What's her problem? What's your problem? We're not even two weeks back yet, and you're trying to hang yourself with the gym rope. Dude, you have no idea what I had to witness this morning. The Jeffrey kid was doing cartoon voices for Mr. Burliday, and the guy just nodded, telling him he had a future in Hollywood. Like he wasn't joking? Yeah, so now he's just encouraged to go up to us talking like Elmo all day. All right, yeah, I get it. But could you hold off on killing yourself for two more weeks? We're still partners on the lab, remember? Oh, that's your motive for keeping me alive. Yeah, sure, no problem. So, will I see you in science today? About that. Why don't we just go out and do something else? Regardless of whatever you say, I'm not showing up to any class with Jeffrey for the rest of the week. I exerted all that energy to keep you alive and you're still not gonna go? You can come with me if you want. Uh, I'm trying to get into a college after I graduate. Fine, go to science and let Jeffrey do Elmo voice at you. Oh, God. Where are you even going? Go to the mall, which we already did the last... Okay, so it's still gonna have the same general, uh, choices. So, let's go hang out at home for this one. You, you wanna watch Mythbusters? This is like a really bad date. At least we're not in school. That's a horrible comeback for that. What are you gonna do when you're 25 and working at Outback Steakhouse? Well, at least we're not in school. I would never fucking work at Steakback Outhouse. That doesn't change the fact we're stuck here without gas money and your mom only pays for the basic cable package. So you don't wanna watch Mythbusters? Yeah, we come literally on. just left school to avoid men who go, this is true, where the fuck would I watch a show about them? I heard every other episode, they accidentally show you a new way to make crystal meth. Did they ever do one on cigarettes causing cancer? If cigarettes were in Star Wars, then maybe. Can I smoke in here? You can. I don't know if you should. My mom might get mad. Okay, well, you hate your mom and your brother and anyone else you mentioned to me, so just let me smoke in here. Holy shit, calm down. You've only been smoking for like a year. How are you addicted? Have an alternative? It's been a year. My mom what has a bunch mean? of old prescriptions in her medicine cabinet. You want to crush them up and see what they do to us? Wow, snorting your mom's pills. We'd be like the guy in Scarface if he ran a nursing home. This might be a stupid question, but what even is Scarface? It's like a drug dealer movie. I don't know. The ESL kids won't stop wearing shirts of it. I think they did a Mythbusters on Scarface. That sounds so awesome for a guy who wears cargo shorts. What are we doing, Nicole? And don't say sobriety. Do a line of mom's pills, smoke cigarettes indoors. All right, well, sure. We'll do um, a line of um, mother's pills. I think the pills could be a lot more fun than you're expecting. How's that? My mom has problems, dude. And she's old, so the doctor just writes her whatever she wants. What, are we gonna snort polio meds? Don't they have a <laughs> vaccine for that? Not when she was born. Look, she goes to a new psychiatrist after every divorce, and they keep giving her the good shit because she doesn't move over the medical history. Oh, that's a nice strategy. My mom only gets the daily Prozac shit after they cut her off from Valium. She should get divorced. New health plan, new psychiatrist. My mom hasn't worked in like 20 years. I don't know if she could even function without my dad. Can't she just find a new guy? My mom does. You haven't seen my mom, Nicole. She stopped trying like 10 years ago. I don't think you can ever come back from that. Yeah, after the mom genes, it's just over. Tragic. Thanks, now I have to think about how sad my mom is. This is why I'll never get married. This is why we should do those pills now. Come on. Oh god, it's gonna be too- Why oh. is it so fast when you start it? Oh. I've seen this before. Does it always hit <laughs> like that? I never tried it. No, it tastes like Picture. an hour when you take it like a pill. Wow. Prescriptions are just dope on layaway. A line of it does I a just, little at first, but then so just well. creeps up fast. Here, try it. Oh my god, I'm scared. Is my nose gonna bleed? Only if you do it like a million times. <laughs> what the fuck? YouTube's gonna love this. How does this. your mom function like this? She doesn't. What if she needs these later? 
It's easy to get more. She can make an appointment and pay like two bucks for a whole bottle. They won't cut her off or anything? Yeah, that's the one perk to being old. If you want enough drugs to shut off your emotions, they won't assume you'll try to OD or anything. Yeah, they said that when I wanted sleeping pills. It's so bullshit. Like, even if you wanted to do that, it's like... Like... Like, none of their business shit it's really hitting now. Oh, yeah, I feel it, too. It's like Percocet, but not as good. You could say that about any painkiller. You want to watch Mythbusters now? I am nowhere near fucked up enough to watch Mythbusters. <laughs> we might have something left to fix that. Why the fuck do you want to watch Mythbusters so bad? Uh, I don't know. It's the only thing on when I skip. Uh, okay, give me something good. You want to try a mystery pill? I'm not even looking at the label, but I'll crush it up. Mystery pill? What if it hurts me? Dude, you're viped up. You're good. All right, fuck it. Line it up. This is insane. Okay. <laughs> is it good? Oh my god. Oh my god. What did I do? I don't feel anything. Really? She always has the strongest shit. What if it's just a Claritin or something? No, my mom barely has allergies. Let me read the label. Metroprolol. Generic for beta lock. Beta lock. It should say what it's for, right? It says, use for high blood pressure or tightness of chest. Let me do a line of beta blocker. Oh god, it's hitting. There's a name for it? How'd you know that? The chemistry teacher told us about it last year. Miss that class. That was the last pill, too. My mom must take a lot of these. I'm like deflating in my own body. How wound up is your mom to always need these? You don't really talk about that. She just comes home and yells at me. I would yell at you, too. Why the fuck didn't you tell me it was a beta blocker? I think you're missing the point of the mystery pill. I took it with Vicodin, Nicole. Call 911. Dude, you're going to be her. fine. Worst case scenario, you pass out. Why do I feel like a guy's told me that before? Oh, God. Ugh, chest pains. Oh. One pill left. Just got to get up these stairs. The women at Ross are so goddamn difficult. Damn, Jekka, you're out cold. Nicole, why are you home? And why is all my medicine on the floor? Oh, shit. Hey, Mom. Um... We were feeling sick, so we took a bunch of your pills. I don't have time for excuses. Just where's my beta lock? I think I just beta killed. lock. Um, what do you need that um, for? I feel like I'm having a heart attack. Oh God. Why is the bottle empty? Oh my fucking God. Uh, Jekka was having a heart attack too. Oh God. Everything's getting dark. Call 911. Okay, Mom. This is gonna be a terrible Mom? ending. Mom? What the fuck? Mom? Fuck, where's the phone? I'm a murderer. Oh God. So, how was the funeral? Oh. Uh, as expected. Meaning? My aunt pulled out a gun. Weird. <laughs> That's somehow not the most shocking thing you've told me in the last week. Yeah, so there's this huge life insurance payout, all the alimony is going to me and my brother, tons of paperwork, and none of it's worth any of the hassle. Cause you can never replace her with money? No, there's a fucking trust fund and I can't touch it till I'm 35. All we get is a monthly stipend. I can't move to LA or anything. Yeah, Nicole, she's a sociopath. This might be a weird question. But are you a sociopath? But, uh, did you oh. cry it all after your mom died? No. But I used it to get out of some stuff. Does that count? It, you seriously need to be on something. I am. Something other than Xanax and Percocet. I have Vicodin too now. Do you really not get how sad this is, or are you just fucking with me? Can it be both? Again, like, I'm sorry it went down like that. I was passed out, and I couldn't really... It's probably a lot to handle. Yeah, no shit. That's what I mean. Shouldn't you go to a therapist or talk to someone? Is this gonna be a thing where you break down and cry for me, or are you doing this to make you feel better? Can it be both? I'm going to class. Where are you headed, Nicole? <laughs> Wait, uh, she just break the. Okay. That's, uh, she would keep using her mom's death, unfortunately, as an excuse to keep skipping class. So we're gonna skip class. Again. I wonder what the guy from Cody Banks is doing right now. I already did oh, this. Oh, hey, Nicole. Oh. So this is at that point where we, last time where we chose depression as an excuse. So let's commit charity fraud. It's, uh,. It's like a non-profit. A non-profit what? A non-profit charity. A non-profit charity for what? A cause. You wanted it for a cause, right? What is the cause? A healthy cause, so people are healthy. And how do they make them healthy? Medicine. So, pharmaceuticals, 
What's the name of this pharmaceutical nonprofit? Ooh, gotta get back to you on that one. You signed up for a charity and don't even know the name of it? It was kind of long. I don't have it in front of me. But it was definitely a charity and definitely for medication to the underprivileged. Where is it? Bitch, no one asked you. I was asking. You're aware you'll need to fill out a form with the location of this charity, right? Just so we know it's not made up. Yeah, totally. I'll get all that for you next class. It was due today. Well, I don't know what to tell you. Is the charity going to disappear because I didn't get it in on time? If you're fine with your grade taking a 10% hit, then be my guest. My policy on all late work. Dude, you need to stop watching C-SPAN. How did you know what I watch at lunch? You just seem like a rules fan. I hope everyone here is a rules fan. This is civics. If rules did anything, wouldn't rape and murder stop happening? It stops most of it. Okay, let's tell all the rape and murder victims that. I'm sure it'll make them feel better. Get your charity in next class and hope I don't fail you for the year. God failed you for your entire life. <laughs> so then my mom's like, he's too old to date you. And I just ask, are you going to buy me alcohol at one in the morning? Exactly. Like, I've I barely ever talked to, to Emily before. Me, if you don't give me what I want, I'll find someone who or will. Senior. Dude, totally. We turned 15 and they're entirely clueless to our needs. So and 15? getting locked in this bitch eight hours a day means I need the edge off. Is everyone's mom a bitch or is it just us? Uh, Jekka hates her mom, so I guess everyone. Where is Jekka? Probably doing something dumb as shit, like school. Hey guys, what's good? Hi. Why do you always come up to us at lunch? Will you shut the fuck up and let me talk? Bye then. No, no, all right. I just wanted to know if you knew people setting up the county's worship festival next weekend. County's worship festival? Is that like Jesus and shit? Do we look like the type of girls who would go to church? No, it's not like super religious. It's just like a county fair. So what do you want to know? Okay, there's this really hot girl on the organizing committee and I need to get on it. So if you know any religious people, just tell them I want to join. Do we look like the type of girls who know girls who go to church? Who's the girl? I can't tell you that. You might try to ruin it. All of this sounds like an excuse to come up and talk to us. Yeah, are you lonely? What? No. All right, whores. Fuck you then. <laughs> God, I is was such lonely. an idiot. Like, we would even know people who set up church functions. I barely know people at this school in general anymore. Did your friends transfer? No. I always hook up with my friends' boyfriends, so they don't want to talk anymore. Oh, that's why we get along. You have a cheating thing, too? Uh, no. I've just never liked a guy enough to the point of calling him my boyfriend. But good to know you're into that. I'm like a charity for guys sick of their girlfriends. Charity. Fuck, I still have to do that. Do what? I made up a fake pharmaceutical charity for civics, and now I gotta either find a real one or just make up better lies for the fake one. Both sound like a lot of effort. No kidding. Or you could start your own charity, then you're not lying. That sounds like more work than both options put together. Fuck no. You think people actually work at those charity things? They just vacay in Florida and write it off as a conference. How would you know? My fucking piece of shit dad who I want to kill works for a charity business. Is there, okay, we wanna explore that one. No, but that's actually a good idea. Yeah. Oh, and did you hear about Braxton? He tried selling a brick in school. No, oh. I have no idea. To who? Yeah. Probably a teacher with a Coke problem, because I don't know any kid who could afford that. Where would he even? Hey, if it isn't my favorite gym student. Oh, God. You never dressed out when we did it. How are we your favorite students? Oh, I know what you're doing. You wanna stay looking nice for your favorite gym teacher. Why would we care about that? I hear how you girls talk about older men, and quite frankly, I support it. You want to say that in front of the principal? Yeah, and it's older men, not ancient men. Yeah, we'll see about that when you're looking for an expensive good time. <laughs> He's really out there this time. How many times this month has he tried asking us out? Three. But yeah, where would Braxton even get a brick of coke? I think his friend's cousin's in MS-13. Oh, shit. What's wrong? Nothing. It's probably no big deal. Everyone's a little dry from PG County. You going to class? Nah, I'm going home. It's 11.30. Been here long enough. Dang. Okay, so I need a charity, a way to ditch this fat-ass brick, and money in general. Let's see. I can't just sell the coke, because then they'll go looking for me. I can never kill two birds with one stone. God, this shit feels so good on my gums, too. I try it for real, but I don't know if it'll mix well with my mom's Vicodin. How is this a prescription, then? It feels as good as the street drug. I got it. Where's my laptop? How would I word this? How to freebase. Do I? Oh. Oh. Let's see. Is there anything? I just have to Google search. Okay, cool. Now I'm told if you didn't get your community service causes in last time, you better have them today. Oh. Fuck! Excuse me. <laughs> 
Hey, uh, where's Mr. Katz? Today, I'm filling in for Mr. Katz as he had a medical issue he needed to take care of. So I had another two days to think of a charity? God damn it. You think because I'm subbing today, I won't enforce your teacher's deadlines? Don't forget, I'm your principal. Oh my. And speaking of deadlines, Mr. Katz took extra care to remind me of your assignment in particular, Nicole. It's your last day to submit or you failed this class for the year. So what do you have for me? The whole year? Uh, I have my charity. <gasps> what charity might that be? I was told it had to do with pharmaceuticals, so let's not stray too far from any prior narrative. Yeah, whatever. The name of my charity is Medicine Rocks. Medicine Rocks? Yeah, it's a charity that helps get prescription drugs to the underprivileged in PG County. Why haven't I heard of this charity? I don't know, PG County's far? Not that far. Well, they're really underfunded, so they can't get the word out. Wanted to volunteer for something that could actually use some help. What's that supposed to mean? Bitch, you know what the fuck it means. <laughs> girls, girls! <laughs> I'll have to look them up sometime then. They'd have a website, wouldn't they? No, they don't really have anything on the internet because they're underfunded and underprivileged. Not everyone has the technology us well-funded whites do, Miss Lynn. What do you mean by that? If you Google them, you're racist. <gasps> she got you there. Hush! She got well, you there, okay. I have to say I'm pleasantly surprised with you, Nicole. Here's your hour sheet. You'll need 25 hours in the next six weeks with signatures. Yeah, okay. We operate under the honor system. But don't think I won't keep my eye on you. Oh, I'm wet. What was that? Nothing. Hey, let's care. see you fail one of these other losers. Anyone else have a charity for me? Dude, I've been looking everywhere for you. Since when do you take elective gym? It's the easiest class ever. You just be skinny and get an A. And get sexually harassed by the gym coach. No, he doesn't do that for the seniors. He thinks we're old enough to tell our parents Wait, or what? something. The Ew, seniors I always tell my at any age. Yeah, okay, that's like way too embarrassing. Imagine 15, telling your mom then. a 50-year-old man wants to eat a Lunchable out of your cleavage. Exactly. Parents and sex are two entirely different worlds. Unless you're in Arkansas. The only way I tell is for a pity dinner at Red Lobster. Hi, Bar. So what do you want? Oh, yeah. I have a project I need help with. Nicole, that MySpace girl isn't even fun to bully anymore. No, not that. Another project. Project for what? For school. Since when the fuck do you do any project for school? Since I got a really awesome idea for it, but I need you to bring some stuff over to my house. <sighs> okay, what is it? I need baking soda, a Zippo lighter, some really tiny Ziplocs, and one of your parents' serving spoons. Are you in chemistry now? No, civics. Where the hell am I gonna get really tiny Ziplocs? Is your mom in a jewelry? She would have those lying around. Okay, so Ziplocs, serving spoon, lighter, what else? Baking soda, a whole box of it. Baking soda. Okay, I'll see you after school. Thanks, I'll explain later. Is this turning into some Breaking Bad crap? What is shit. going on? <laughs> oh, God. Hey, sweet cheeks, you got a minute? Miss Lynn said you're not allowed in the girls' locker room. She don't need to know. Hey, quick question for you. What? Are you familiar with Lunchables chicken shake-ups? <laughs> oh god. That's uh, Thanks for terrible. Coming. I know it was super short notice. Just walking yeah, backwards. so what do you need all this shit for? Okay, don't freak out. You found it? Was this yours or something? No, there's a rumor going around that some gang kid lost a huge thing of coke at our school. That Braxton kid just ditched it in front of me while running from school security. And you didn't think, oh, that's a lot of illegal drugs, maybe more trouble than they're worth. Since when are we afraid of the law? I'm not talking about the law. I'm talking about MS-13's name on the side of the fucking bag. They're gonna kill you if they find out. How do you know who MS-13 is? One of my friend's cousins was in MS-13. Why is everyone in everyone's MS-13? everyone's friend's cousin's in MS-13 <laughs> now. And no way it's MS-13. Why would a gang put their name on their drugs? What if it was supposed to be delivered to them? What shitty-ass drug dealer would keep their customers' names in writing? A really fucking stupid one? As in stupid enough to bring this to a public school? All right, don't worry about it. They won't even know we had it when we're finished. Finished with what? You brought the supplies, right? Yeah, for... You brought me here to cook crack? Yeah, what else is baking soda for? I don't know, baking? Dude, why are you freaking out? We've had drugs before. Yeah, perks and robo, not go to jail drugs. Okay, just let me borrow your stuff. I need the community service hours. What does making crack do for the community? Nothing. Selling crack's another story. We live in cul-de-sacs. Who's gonna buy this? I'm not selling it here. Oh my god, this is gonna ruin my parents' serving spoon. Just buy another one. It's from Tiffany. Why would you bring a Tiffany serving spoon to make crack? You never told me what it was for. Look, calm down. This will take like an hour at most. I think we're getting the hang of this. We filled so many baggies. This, well, how do we know if it's good? This the is an interesting route that I've taken. If you break one of the little shards, it should give a really nice snap. That was bad. Try another one. Oh, it worked. 
So it's good enough. God, my gums are still numb from rubbing this shit. It's good, right? Oh my god, yeah. I want to try coke for real, but I feel like I'd kill someone on it. Oh. I just don't want to OD, but good to know your potential. <laughs> Alright, the whole room smells like burnt plastic, so I think we made enough today. My parents are going to be so mad when they see this spoon. Just leave it here. It's better lost than ruined. That's true. Okay, I gotta go to PG County now. Can you give me a ride? I'm not driving to PG County, Nicole. What if my car gets stolen? Oh, so you'll freebase crack but won't drive through a black neighborhood? What are you, Ronald Reagan? I helped you with your community service project. You won't guilt me into anything. Okay, just drive me to the Franconia station. I'll take the metro. Fine, but I'm not driving you back. No problem. I'll have plenty for a cab when I'm done. This is, uh... I should have looked oh. up how to actually sell drugs before I came out here. Yeah, that... Well, I don't know if we should have looked that up at all. Hey, what's up? Whatever. Hey, what you got? You wanna buy some crack? <laughs> <laughs> Damn, we did sound like a cop, huh? Yeah. Hey, Mo. What you need? What you got? I got rocks, bricks, white Legos. Uh, uh, how much? Hundred for the baggie. Uh, I, here you go. Thanks. Oh, one more thing. What? Could you sign my community service hour sheet? I'll give you an extra rock. Uh, yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah, okay. Yeah, just any fake no. name, it's fine. I A hundred bucks and a two-hour signature. I think this is gonna work out. Ah, oh, you're Ooh. fine. Now that I've called roll, I just wanted to apologize for my absence. I know you've all been working very hard on your community service assignment. Has everything been okay? Not to get too far into detail, but I've been having some personal health issues arise and have needed time away from my teaching duties. Oh, well, we hope you're all right. There's nothing wrong with this teacher, shit. right? He's Here. Kinda... Oh, his all attendance right. over. Sorry. So what nice is of you to join us. Late as always. Fuck you. You've been gone the last three classes. <laughs> he had a medical issue. Yeah, I do too. It's called liking post-rock. No one rolls out the red carpet for me. Just have a seat, Nicole. You can have this dick, bitch. <laughs> Dude, why are you freaking out? All right, Nicole. You act like you own the place, so I assume you're a top of the class in community hours? I might be. Pull out your sheet, then. Let's see what our star student has for us. Yeah, sure. Here you go. Of course. As I expected, you... Wait, how many is this? I don't know. I lost count. 16, 18, 22 hours? Wow. No, I only have three. All the signatures are different. Different ink used every time. It's only been a week and a half and you're 90% done. <gasps> I'm kind of awesome like that. I'm he just shockingly okay. surprised, Nicole. Good to see you really took the initiative for getting these hours. And aside from just the hours, I'm really building a reputation in the community. <laughs> Anytime someone's in need, oh, they know no. who to call. Quite the turnaround indeed. She doesn't right. just constantly who have that, has their sheets to show? Nah. What do you mean, nah? nah? Why not? <laughs> it's gay. <laughs> Excuse me? What does helping the community have to do with one's sexuality? Uh, it has to do with it's gay. <laughs> you think that way now, but go above and beyond for this. Get 50 hours. You'll get a framed certificate from the National Honor Society. Why would anyone want that? It means you really made a difference in life. For years, you can hold on to it, show it to your grandkids one day. Who, did that? Who would do that? Yeah, imagine you're 80 and you haven't accomplished anything beyond a community service hour sheet. <laughs> all right, all right. Who else has a sheet for me? Nicole, I'm busy. Well, what is it? Oh, good, so I can leave? No, why were you sent here? One of the security people said I was violating the dress code. Well, it looks like there's a gun on your sweatshirt, so yes, take it off. I, I don't really have anything under this. Then turn it inside out and get back to class. Ew, how do I turn a hoodie inside yeah, out? That's it's gonna be weird. weird and itchy. You really don't have anything on under that? Like a sport bra? Well, we can't just have you in that. Are you sure? I think your gym teacher would love it. Please, <laughs> Nicole, I'm dealing with enough as it is right now. What's the big deal over a drawing of a gun on my hoodie? Have you already forgotten Virginia Tech? Oh, so some Asian guy shoots up a school and now we can't wear cool hoodies anymore? It could promote the wrong message. Who's gonna think I would shoot up a school? He was only a mass shooter because he's weird and ugly. I'm kind of the opposite of that. All right, fine. Wear it for the rest of the day, but don't bring it to school again. That's Whatever. Just, okay. oh, oh, one more thing. I almost forgot. What? I've been told of your quick turnaround in civics. Congratulations on your hours. Oh, yeah, don't mention it. A night and day difference in no time at all, really. Where'd you find the motivation for Correct. it? Uh, I don't know. The community, I guess. The community. You love the people that much now? 
Yeah? Look me in the eye and say that. What are you, my dom? Is there something you'd like to tell me, Nicole? Can I tell you to fuck off? You're free to go. I'll be watching. Yeah, right. That's kind of creepy. Oh, hey, Nicole. What's up? What's good? Yeah. Yay. Cool. Hello, so, Crispin. I, I just wanted to ask if you were busy this weekend. Fucking why? I got to do a video for a class project and was kind of wondering if you could be in it. Why can't you ask the other 30 people who take the class with you? Yeah, um, it's like... I don't know. I feel like they're gonna flake on me. And a girl who doesn't take the class, doesn't even like you, she's gonna come through. W you don't like me? I hate you. <laughs> Dude, like, quit like, you're always kidding around and stuff. You're crazy though, it's cool. I'm not laughing. No girl randomly recruited for your class video will ever wanna fuck you. Whoa, whoa, quit jumping around to shit. What's the end game then? You're gonna awkwardly go up to a girl just to be friends? Well, I mean, Friends kind of have a lot of definitions to it. Is there a definition where you blow your brains out with a shotgun while I sit and watch? <laughs> what the fuck? Why would you do that? What else are friends for? So, are, are you waiting for somebody? Yeah, and she wouldn't want to fuck you either. Bro, you're acting wild. How can you even say something like that? Hey, sorry, I got held up in math. Jekka, would you fuck Crispin? Ew, no. See, no one wants to fuck you. You guys are just... Man, you guys are wild. Fuck off and leave! You're so stupid. <laughs> okay, I'll see you around, guys. What the fuck are you talking to him for? Dude, I don't know. I was alone and he came up to me. You know they get brave when we're alone. What was the holdup? I was flirting with my teacher. For business or pleasure? He's 50. What do you think? I was trying to get an A minus. Cool, yeah. I might finish with an A for the year in civics at the rate I'm going. He bought it? He doesn't have to buy anything. They're real signatures. I'm amazed you haven't been killed yet. Oh my god, if you just keep to yourself, no neighborhood's all that dangerous. You're not keeping to yourself, you're selling crack. Yeah, and PG loves me for it, so there's no reason to kill me. Okay, we'll see. Dude, you're such a hater. You sound like Vigilant right now. I'm gonna what die Vigilant do this time? Nicole's gonna I got die. called in over my bape hoodie, and then she got all on my ass over doing well in civics. Why wouldn't she be happy about that? She thinks I'm cheating by not actually doing community service. It's like suspicious or whatever. You're not actually doing community service? Yeah, I am. You're selling drugs in PG County. How does that help their community? I have really good prices. Giving pregnant women two for ones on crack rocks doesn't benefit the country. Oh, what? So now pregnant women have less rights than the rest of us? No. Okay, do whatever the fuck you want. That's what I planned on. You want to come with me tonight? I'd rather date my ugly math teacher. How would you rather do that? Because if the police show up, I won't be the one getting arrested. Man, I was gonna cut you in and everything. All right, then suit yourself. Yeah, she's gonna get arrested or shot to death. Oh, uh, so you in school or? Yeah, that's what the hour sheet's for. After tonight, I'll probably be all done. Cool, cool. Yeah, I thought you got out to prison or some shit. Right? But no, I'm too white and pretty to go to jail. Hey, the fuck, bitch, you wild saying that shit. You wild, you anything. What do you want me to lie? Yeah, yeah, I guess. <laughs> uh huh. Well, I got packs to move, so if you could. Nah, yeah, I'll see you some other time with it. Yeah, she's Damn, gotta be awesome if it has this many repeat customers. Is this a cop? Hey, if you're a cop, do you have to tell me that you're a cop? This is the White freaking principal. Rocks and is it a... Yeah, you're definitely Never a mind. cop. I'm not a cop. Wait, Mr. you sound familiar. Is that Mr. Katz? I thought Katz? it was a principal Keep for a moment. Down. Did Miss Lynn send you to spy on me? No, just take the money and let me leave with it. Holy fuck, you weren't missing class because you're sick. You're a crackhead. I said keep it down. I mean, if you want to buy, no problem. But are you allowed to sign my hour sheet? This was your charity? Yeah, I sell shit for cheap. I'm the great white hope of PG County. I thought it was a pharmaceutical charity. Medicine rocks? Yeah, as in crack rocks, duh. That's downright evil. Wait till I tell the school board you're cheating on your hours. Wait till I tell the school board you're buying Ready Rock off one of your students. Fine. We'll both keep our mouths shut. Now give me the stuff. Done deal. Here you go. Freeze! Huh? Oh, shit. <laughs> A little midnight marketplace here? How'd you let the cops tell you? Oh, Actually, good. sweetheart, the cops tailed you. We got a tip from a school principal across the Potomac. Shit! We got a runner! What the fuck? Yeah, this is going to uh, be the ending. Now we got to call in a body bag. There goes Mr. Katz. Did my civics teacher? It was a calculated risk, but it paid off. <laughs> what? Did you shoot me too? I can't fucking handle this shit. Nonsense. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be held against you. Oh. You waited two weeks to visit me? Okay, if you're going to be a bitch about it, I can go now. No, I'm so bored in here. Don't go. That's what I thought. So how's jail? 
I've been trying to kill myself every day for the last two weeks, but there's like no options. It's not the loony bin, there's no options at all. Oh my god, there's no sleeping pills, no sharp objects, the sheets rip easily, and the guards walk by every hour so you can't even bleed out with the razor blades. Wait, how long are you even serving? The public defender was like three years of good behavior. You're trying to kill yourself over three years? I only came here because I thought you'd be in for 20. Two weeks in here feels like 20. There's only one TV in the whole block and all it plays is UPN reruns. And that's not even around anymore. Yeah, so I'm going insane. They lock you in here to turn your brain into mush. Fucking every night you try going to bed, you just hear weird echoey moans in the distance. Why are they moaning? I don't know. You can't tell whether they're having sex or withdrawing from heroin. Wow, sounds kind of like torture. But I guess that's how the system works to make you not sell crack anymore. It's a broken ass system. They just assume we hustle for fun. Well, yeah, I mean, aren't there other things you can do besides selling drugs? Not for us. You're born into bullshit, no tools to get out of it, and they still want to act like it's your fault. They want to act like you want to be in jail, like you didn't know the consequence. No shit I knew, but it's either suffer out there or suffer in here. Nicole, you just needed to get out, do a even paper. More bullshit. P.O., ankle monitor, drug tests, felony record. It's almost like you had less problems on the inside. The system's educational for everyone but the prisoner. This is a maze and we're the rats. But most days you'd rather die than get to the finish. Now all I think about is dying. I guess 50 was right. Right about what? It's get rich or die trying. I did what I had to. You're white. What? You're white, Nicole. You didn't have to do anything. That's what you think. What I know is we live in cul-de-sacs, and you don't have to sell crack when you live in a cul-de-sac. I didn't even totally mean financially. Like, my parents were mean to me and shit. It, like, makes you make bad decisions. You sold crack to a pregnant woman because your mom was mean to you? Yeah, sorta. So, all you did was take your little problems and turn them into someone else's bigger problems. They weren't little to me. You better turn Islamic and pray the judge agrees with that. Can white people be Islam? I don't know. Look, I gotta go. I'll see you next week, maybe. Oh wait, no, no, don't go! Yep, I another ending. I thought I had a bad memory until I spent two years in jail. No one has a bad memory. Some are just more distracted than others. And aside from really cool fights breaking out, there aren't a ton of distractions in jail. I haven't had a visitor in 16 months. You go by months when you're locked in here. And you're left with your thoughts as your only entertainment. See, I went in rolling my eyes, oh yeah, I'll learn. But they eventually break you down into this lame self-reflection no matter how hard you fight it. But there's no psychologist in here. No therapists in here. No nothing. So yeah, I feel like I've changed, but what if I'm getting worse? Every now and then I'm reminded what Jekka was trying to say last time she visited me. Every new inmate's story kind of paints the picture. One had to feed their kids. Another was forced in a gang. Some girl had to kill her husband. All I wanted to do was fill out an hour sheet. So compared to everyone else, I guess it was kind of messed up in the long run. Maybe that's my lesson. Two years ago, I never would have considered I'm wrong. I really have changed. Now to just serve my time, get back in society, maybe make some new friends, and buy a gun to murder my fucking principal with. I'd shoot her in the legs first, watch her cry for mercy before I finish her off. This turned terrible. Change feels pretty good. Oh, God. That was, um... What the heck? That was an interesting ending. Let's see what message we got. Uh, sorry, sis. Not sure if they let you have your phone in jail, but I guess you'll see this when they let you out. Since you're an adult now, I sold all your furniture, thrifted your clothes at that shop in Arlington, and have been renting out your room on Craigslist. You can visit every now and then, but you do not have a home here. So find a job and your own place when you get out. Recession shouldn't make it too hard. Well, that was a pretty bad ending. Uh... That was my brother, so, yeah. We still have five more endings, and I know this is kind of a, a weird. I, I have a hard time talking in this because it feels like I'm watching a show. But either way, um, I hope you did enjoy, and if you did, please leave a like, subscribe, and check out my other um, series I'm doing on Wukong at the moment. It, it's pretty cool, and it's fun, and sometimes I'll post some random things. 
and I stream on Saturdays. And yeah, have a good rest of your day or night. See ya!